Hello, hello, hello. This is Private Talk Podcast with Alexis Texas, and we're back season two, and we have the pleasure today to have Jade Rainey with us. Hello. Thank Hi. You. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming on the Private Talk couch. Thank you for joining us and letting Private Talk get to know you a little bit better. I'm excited to have you on the couch. So let Private Talk know what do you do? What are you doing during this COVID time? I know you started your fitness journey. Tell us all about it. Um, Okay, well, I'm a spiritual and travel influencer. I'm also an artist. Um, I'm also actually launching my own podcast, March. Nice. And I started a fitness journey a few years back, and it slowly manifested itself into this whole, like, spiritual journey. And, like, so that's kind of, like, what unlocked all these, like, new endeavors that you're doing now. Yeah. Basically. That's awesome. Were you always into fitness before? Like, how did you start? How did it, how did it come into like this whole big, you know, spiritual journey that you're on? Well, I was definitely always into it. Um, I played sports as a child, like from the time I could walk, basically. And I found myself like chasing something and never quite grabbing it. And it just bothered me like I'm a very um hard-headed person so if I'm not getting it I'm gonna figure it out I'm like oh. and I realized like the physical aesthetic wasn't going to fulfill everything that I was truly seeking honestly and so I started going inward and then that's kind of how that's awesome it's good here. to like you know see most people can find that on like later on or when it's too late but it's cool to have like something that just is super, super empowering to make you, you know, go on all these things that you probably, who knows if you would have, you know, been on this couch today, if you wouldn't have just started that fitness journey on whatever, you know, Absolutely. what it spoke to you. So speak to us a little bit more about like the spiritual part of it. What are you, you said you're spiritual. Very spiritual. So um, I'm just very in tune with my body, what my body needs, um, the energies around me, the people around me. I can read everybody very well. I can feel their energy really well. And I've always been that way, but I didn't understand it. I wasn't in tune with it. So I was basically, I call it like energy osmosis. Like I was absorbing other people's energy and I wasn't very filtering impact. it. Yes, exactly. And so um, as... I got a little bit more in tune with it. I have been able to put up like walls to block it out basically um, and just stay in my lane really. And it's helped me become more comfortable and confident with who I am. I've been able to figure out like certain thoughts and feelings are not mine. This is who I truly am. And that's helped me boost my confidence, which overall like the entire experience I feel like has led me to become the person and the woman that I ultimately have always wanted to be. So it's been a really dope experience. That's amazing. So do you just do practice work individually or do you do you help other people or do you have you tapped into that? So I do it individually. Um, I started doing sound baths around the beginning of quarantine last year. Um, I put a few on YouTube. I was doing them on my Instagram. And People found them really helpful. People really liked them. Um, I've shared a lot of my experiences very openly on my channels and my platforms, but mostly what I'm going to be doing with my podcast is sharing the tips and the experiences that I've had. But because I'm very spiritual and a lot of the beliefs or the practices date back like thousands of years ago, it might seem a little outdated for the average person. So half of it, not all of it, but half of the intent behind it is to help people put these things to use when it's actually going to be useful in their day-to-day -day modern life with technology and social media. And it's like kind of like an advice type of thing. It's basically a virtual advice column. That's awesome. How, what is it going to be called? Where can we find it? When is it coming free out? Game. Free game. Called free game. Um, it's going to be free game. The Instagram is free game PDCST and it will be out in March. That's amazing. Congrats. Thank you. I'm very so excited. let us know where we can find you on your social medias and everything that so we can support you. My socials are Jade Ramey, just J-A-D-E-R-A-M-E-Y. I believe it's Jade Ramey on everything. On so. everything. So you said you have a YouTube uh, channel. Is that just based for your podcast or are you just doing, was it just all about Jade? 
Uh, before I was actually like vlogging and I was doing, I'm vegan. So I was doing like vegan mukbangs. Everybody loves the mukbang. So I was trying to show people that like vegan food is actually really good. Mm -hmm. Um, did my sound baths on there. I've documented, I did like a 21 day fast last year and I documented that. And so I've shared that, but now it's going to be converted mostly to my podcast and being able to see the visual correspondent there. So you also have an OnlyFans. Do you do that type of stuff on there as well? Or is it a little bit more racier? What can we find there? Uh, my OnlyFans. Uh, it's you started blushing. Look, now, mm -hmm. now you're really getting comfortable. <laughs> yeah, no, I've actually, I've been doing OnlyFans for a few years now. And um, it's, it's a little bit of that because that's just who I am by nature. So you're going to get a little bit of that regardless. So but like it day is, in the life type of. Yeah, like I put... Some of my like sexy, sexy workouts that you shouldn't see on Instagram or anywhere Like, are else. you like in like little lingerie? Are you naked? Am I'm I going to have to subscribe to it? You definitely need to subscribe. I need to subscribe. I can't it's get a free pass. It's definitely worth it. I can't get you a can. free Okay, I can. I'll give Private you talk, one. you guys have to go there and support her. So subscribe to her OnlyFans. What is your OnlyFans? Is it just Jade? OnlyFans.com dash Jade Ramey. That's right. Private talk. You better go and see what she's doing in these, um, these little sexy workout videos. And other things. And other things. Oh, so it gets really X-rated. Uh, it doesn't get... S no. <laughs> it doesn't get really X-rated. We'll find out. But you you definitely... It's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Especially because I don't talk to people on my other platforms. It's so many people to try and get back to all the time that if I were to spend my time constantly answering every DM, I would never get anything done. So on OnlyFans, I actually talk to people, converse with them, have one-on-one -on -one conversations, get to know them, let them get to know me. Because it's the best place because it's they're all only your fans and yeah. they're actually supporting us. The I myself exclusive. have one too. It's it's fun. Do you? Maybe you'll have to do something, um, a vegan mukbang on it. We can collab. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> Private talk, would you like it? So tell us about the vegan lifestyle. Have you always, you know, incorporated that in your life? Is it something you grew up, you know, going, or did you grow up doing it or did you just incorporate it older on in your life? I just incorporated it about three and a half years ago. So it's somewhat new for me. I did grow up, um, I'm from Portland, which is like very earthy and organic and like reuse, reduce, recycle. So... I like um, how your tone changed. <laughs> <laughs> recycle, reuse. Recycle, <laughs> reuse. It's my earthy tone. I like it. Um, so I've always been grown. I was raised in that, basically, that lifestyle. I'm from Texas. I get it. <laughs> it's opposite. But yeah. yes. Yeah. Like, you're like, yeah, when you're in a lifestyle, what you're like what, you're, you know, what you know. But that's why I ask is like, being from Portland, is it very many vegans there? Or is There's it, a ton of vegans. Yeah. So, but you didn't grow up vegan. No. But even if you're not vegan there, like typically people shop very, very locally. It's all organic, um, shopping at farmer's markets, supporting local businesses is really like the aesthetic there. So did it again. Aesthetic. <laughs> She's talking dirty to his private talk. I like it. Hopefully she'll get a little bit dirtier with us. <laughs> <laughs> so basically I grew up very healthy. There's certain things now that just don't ever sit right with me and I'd never understood why and then someone one day pointed out like it's probably because you weren't allowed to have that growing up so you just don't like it so um yeah I just made that transition three years ago it just felt right um I didn't have to force it I didn't have to try to do it one day I was just like I'm doing it fuck it and it was really easy and I saw a tremendous change not just in my body but like my mental clarity in the way that I felt on a day-to-day -day basis, it was just, it was, it was right for me. That's good. I'd say, you know, mental clarity is an important thing. They always say like, you know, with foods and stuff, they can be like held on to like trigger. So it's like, if you've never had those foods, it makes sense of why you would never want those things. So it's a little bit more, I am not completely, I, I choose to go more on the vegan side, but not completely. Like I, I still eat certain things. Like I, I guess maybe I shouldn't even say vegan at all. It's more like, I guess, pescatarian, if anything. Or like um, plant-based. Yeah, plant-based. And so, but you know, it's, it's just mind conscious. Mm -hmm. I think the older we get, the more it's like you're conscious of what you put in your body and all of that, you know, exudes to what your life choices are and it comes outwards. Exactly. Private talk. Have you ever watched one of my movies, Miss Jade? I haven't. You're missing out. Can I hear about it? And you hear about it maybe in the dirtier section, but we're going to play a game called Truth with Texas. Do you think that you're ready for this game? Uh, I mean, I hope so. Have you, you know, are you talking dirty on your OnlyFans? 
Do you tell them about your private life, your like romantic life? Are you really private? Um, I'm like, I'm somewhat private. Um, certain things I choose not to answer. Some things I am comfortable answering. But here at Private Talk, I want the truth. So you got to oh, give shit. us the truth. We can't tell us. We might want to tell us. We have to. You know, we're we're getting closer. We're being come. We're gonna become best friends at the end of this. I love it. Mm-hmm. So you got to tell Private Talk what it's all about. So we're going to take a little bit of a break, and then we're going to play Truth with Texas. Okay. All right, Private Talk, we're back, and we've got Jade with us on the couch still. So we're talking about this during the break. What exactly, I know what mukbang is, but Private Talk may not know what mukbang is. So explain to us a little bit more about it and see, let's, let's talk about it. Okay, so from my understanding, which I may be wrong, so don't. Sue me for Don't this. get mad at her private talk. You guys don't get this mad. This is her <laughs> version of a uh, mukbang. This is my version of a mukbang. I believe that it's something where you eat food and then you review it. So so can you give us a little example of what you've done on your mukbang episodes? So, give us a little taste, a preview. A taste. Yes. I like the pun. Nice. I like that. Um, one of the mukbangs or mukbangs that I've done was um, I had this, I believe it was like a pizzeria. It was from my hometown actually. And they had like vegan chicken wings, they had vegan pizza, they had vegan um, like those garlic knot balls. Mm. They had all of these things that normally I feel like people don't know you can get a vegan version. So I had those and I reviewed it. First of all, the chicken wing freaked me out because it tasted so much like chicken that I thought it was actually chicken. And then I bit in and there was like a little skewer thing and i thought it was a bone. a bone so it almost felt too real and i was like i don't like this because this is your mind was like telling you that it was like this is probably really chicken this is probably real and it freaked me out so i just talk about it i just try it and i talk about it but i haven't but done do it you make while. like sounds and noises where it's like really like you know intensified and that sometimes. kind of sometimes sometimes your I eyes do. lit up i'm like you don't lie to me but that's because to me i thought it was more like you're eating the food but it's also like the sounds and the like you know elongating your like mm, mm-hmm. and like you know all those like savory moments that people that one's like more like engage. a asmr mukbang mm, like okay. the, i mean you can I'm do getting both. dirtier with it that's yeah. why i was just pulling it out like that no pun intended pulling <laughs> out, so tell me you have a clothing line coming out too don't you i have um i have merch already okay so i have merch that i created last year i have new designs that are on the way and then i also have merch that is going to correspond with my podcast Podcast. and i actually brought you some Ooh, Um, i I brought you a custom one of one i I I like special um they're honestly like the most comfy like sleep tees that i own and i wear them every single night it's my psilocybin tea i'm like a huge advocate for psilocybin so i decided to put it on a t-shirt and soon after into existence literally then oregon my home state legalized and decriminalized so that's awesome so do you partake then you have to if you're like such a you know activist for it of course i feel like it's a part of like healing of you know and like putting your mind at like in a certain like state of being absolutely um i i have tried i've wanted to dabble but i haven't because i'm a control freak about a lot of things and so i feel like i if i can't control my mind then i don't know but i'm almost i'm almost there i'm at that tipping toe of like Mm -hmm. i just need a few more shoves and maybe i'll go over there but you know it's all in time i feel like it's kind of like happens yeah so what inspired you know you is it your clothing line and your merch is what it's on there that you know your fans could get or private talk can get um does it well, have so- like words on it can yeah you see so- my present can you see what, what, what <laughs> oh, i want yeah. to let's see it. here okay so I'm there's curious. a few pieces that i'll like do from time to time which are like custom tie-dye pieces which i dye by hand and so i dyed that one and I actually, Ooh. the original t-shirt, I did now that I have stencil an by hand. If I ever go on this ride. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's absolutely a wonderful trip, so you and you have to yourself. wear those. Yeah. That's awesome. The Thank stencil you. right there, you're welcome, is printed, but the original one I, I did. I see, but different. All by myself. I, like, sketched it, cut it out, painted it on a shirt. Um, I wanted the font to be, like, very unique, like, not something you could download off of the fonts. I wanted it to be, like... 100 percent me yeah that's awesome. and then i put like palo santo and um a crystal for self-love and attracting Ooh. the correct 
correct love that you want or need. I love all these things. I have all the, I have a crystal with me too. I bring a crystal. I brought it today. I don't know why, but sometimes I just it gravitates to me mm-hmm. and it just you know, happens. But thank you. That's really sweet. Mm-hmm. I like all of those. I like all I get. I love to give people the good vibes and the tools. Good vibes are always a good thing, especially here at Private Talk. Where can we get your merch? My merch is on my website, which is jaderamy.com. And the merch that is for my podcast will be out once the podcast launches, which this merch is more so advocating and like pushing something that I really believe in. In an art, like. Yeah, that's my art. But the next merch will be more of like a statement piece. It will kind of relate the energy of it will relate to the vibe of my podcast which is just very much like be who you are i'm excited for you i'm excited for you to do you know get your words out there you seem like you have a lot to say and a lot of like um positive energy things to tell people that are maybe kind of too afraid or already already have a fan base so it kind of like likes to hear what you're saying Mm -hmm. and your voice is very soothing so i'm sure you're gonna get a lot of listeners thank you all right are you ready for truth with texas uh yeah i'm Um, ready all right, we're going to pick all these cards, but I'm just going to shuffle because it makes me feel good. Okay. <laughs> all right, here we go. So each suit is a different type of question, Jade. We have an ace of hearts. hearts. Ooh, romantic. Mm. Would you consider yourself a romantic? Absolutely. I'm honestly a hopeless romantic. Deep, 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 deep down at heart. <laughs> it's why is it so deep <laughs> it's changed over the past couple hurt of your years feelings, Jade? um a few people have hurt my feelings and now i've because of that god bless i'm very grateful for it i learned my worth and so now i'm still very much a hopeless romantic but i'm very conservative and frugal with my energy and who i place my love and energy into and if you're not worthy of my time then Bye i'm putting bitch. it only into myself i like that do you have sex on the first date um, I want the truth. <laughs> I, I the can't truth, say, Jade. I can't say I have. I don't think that I ever have. I'm not against it though because I think that every woman or man should do whatever the fuck they want to do. I'm about an energy thing. I feel like it's not about time. Like if it if it happens, it feels you know, exactly. It's whatever yeah. you're comfortable with. What kind of porn turns you on? I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually don't watch porn. I have before, but I don't watch it like I'm so not what do you watcher. use to get yourself off um my imagination <laughs> I have a wild <laughs> imagination so can you tell us about any of these you know secret fantasies that you money have? money so you like imagine yourself getting fucked in a pile of money or people throw making it rain at you and you're just coming like explain tell private talk we want to know um, Jane. I use it as a manifestation tool but where is this money coming out of? Where is it going in? The universe. Is- <laughs> it's coming out of the universe. So it's just showering money on you. Mm-hmm. What kind of like location are you? Are you in your bed? Are you on the beach? Are you on a couch? Are you here right I'm now? I'm all over. I'm globe trotting, <laughs> and in a basically, car. it's just I just imagine everything that I want coming to me, and that's honestly the most satisfactional thing that I've experienced thus so far. Money is literally like your boyfriend. Mm, I don't know if money is my boyfriend, but I think business and like my businesses personally, because they're, I'm so passionate about them. Mm -hmm. So they're like my children or like, yeah, my boyfriend or my husband. Raining on you, Mm -hmm. money. I like that. So are you, what is your uh, relationship status at the moment? I'm single. Single and ready to mingle or single and ready to do your work? Um, I'm single and ready to do my work, but I also mingle from time to time because I believe in balance. So are you on dating sites? How do you, at these during these times, do you like find men that you want to go and um, date? I'm not on dating sites. Well, Instagram itself is a dating site. So it people or not. are sliding in your DMs for sure. All the time. But I don't actually respond to a lot of DMs. I Have very, you very responded rarely. to DMs? I have before. And got on a date? Um, Got a boyfriend from it? You know, I don't. Got a girlfriend from it? Do you even like girls? I mean, I don't know your sexual preference either. This is how we get to know each other, Jane. This is how we get to know each other. Um, No, I don't. You know what? I might have been on one one date, I believe, off of Instagram. Um, So are these all celebrities sliding into your DMs? Are they normal people that are just average nine to fivers? Are they just like people who play PS5 all the time or whatever that game is called. I don't even know what it is. Like, I clearly don't have a boyfriend. I don't, especially he wouldn't be playing video games because that is not the business. That is not cute. <laughs> that is not cute. Um, 
Mm, it's usually I can just feel people's energy. So it doesn't, but I don't through really a have DM? a preference. Yeah, absolutely. I can okay. look at somebody's profile and I can okay, like, I get that. Read them very, very well. Like they're, but what if they're like just stunning for the gram? Is that I like, can read it. You can read it. I can see through it. So do you so read fast. people or do you just read energies? I read people and I read energies. Interesting. Okay. I feel like I read energies. I'm very empath empathic and I'm very like, that's why with me, I have to be, um, direct my energy in the right ways. Like you're saying, putting boundaries on, like I, like me going in groups of crowded people. It was really sometimes in the beginning, really like nerve wracking. Cause it's like, it wasn't my pain and people's weird stuff. It was other people. And I'm like, don't talk to me. I don't want to. Yeah. And it, it almost like, <laughs> it eats up to like everything that's going on. Yeah. So you just gotta like black out all that and just do you. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. All right. Next question. Ace of Clubs. It's a kinky question. Oh shit! Are you a kinky girl? Um, <clears throat> I don't like to speak on what I am or am not because I think it's subjective. Okay. Have you? How many times have you had sex in one day? How many times in one day? Oh my. Um, oh my. <laughs> I don't know. I don't keep track. Uh, more than three. More than four. Is it like? Are you like a? Potentially more than three, but I can't say how much more. I'm not sure. Okay. Potentially. That's not even a, that's have a you ever Have you ever been caught going solo with yourself? No. And masturbating to money? No. <laughs> to money. <laughs> no, I have not. No. Do you like being tied up? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's probably a yes, but you probably haven't been tied up. So no. you're open to no. it, but no. yeah, see, I no. know private talk. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're going to tie you up. Ready? No, I'm just kidding. No. All right. <laughs> That's later private talk. Maybe private talk after dark will bring back Jade <laughs> and tie her up on my OnlyFans. Ace of spades. All right. That's a naughty question. Are you a naughty girl? Um, <laughs> it's subjective. It's subjective. Lights on or lights off? Dim. 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 Are you one of those, like, the color, like, the blue light, pink light, yeah. red light in the back kind of thing, the whole ambiance thing? I have an interchanging light. It I like Like, goes through all the colors. What's your biggest turnoff in bed? Honestly, my turnoffs don't really come from, like, the sexual experience. My turnoffs come from, like, how someone acts. So what's your biggest turnoff? Um, I just hate when people are really lame. I know that's like general and broad, but just lame. Like maybe are not very respectful or don't know how to convey what they're thinking or feeling or have an appropriate conversation to ask the questions that they want to ask you or immature. their ego gets in the way. Yeah. That's where you got to date mature people. Only but mature men. Yeah. You know, little kids, they don't, they can stay home with mommy. Mm -hmm. Booty shorts or thongs? Thongs. Dong, dong, dong. Naked or closed? I like both. Favorite position? Boss. CEO. <laughs> Sexual position. Miss um. Boss. <laughs> um, is sleep sexual? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's a secret. They have to. We don't like secrets here. This is a private out. talk conversation. I want the truth. We want the truth. Okay, I like the side. The okay. side. The side. The side. Like when you, I like you, your answers. You can tell you like you blush a little bit. Do I? A little bit. How old were you in your first sexual experience? Um, not old enough. Interesting. Yeah. Did that exploit you into having going being really sexually active or stopping afterwards? Because usually if you have two experiences, like you either just become sexually active or you're like, do it once you're like, oh, I don't really know. Well, I was with a boyfriend and um, so it was comfortable. You were saying I was comfortable. And then we broke up and I had a new boyfriend. So then with the new boyfriend, I was still very active with him. And I've been active since. Yeah. I mean, I think I've like. Now I'm a little bit more comfortable with my sexuality, but there were times where I went through like that guilt trip phase where guys try to make you feel like a hoe. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm going to be celibate. And then I'm like, no, fuck that. So power of the pussy, you guys take that the shit pussy. girl back. You know what I mean? I feel like there's so many cliches. There's so many like double standards and then you got to do what's right for you. Exactly. And 
if their pussy wants to get fucked and have whatever you want, if it's a toy, a man, a girl, or whatever, then damn right, do it. Mm-hmm. Who's going to stop you? Nobody. We should do what we want. What's your best move in the bedroom? Um, I would say, I don't know if it's really a move, but it's just something that my eyes do. If you know, you know. It's you something about people. my eyes, yeah. I fucker. I like that. It's like the window to your soul. It is. Last card. Okay. Ace of Diamonds. It's a spicy question. They're all a little bit spicy. Uh, have you ever used food during intimacy? Yeah. What food? Chocolate. Where is this chocolate gone, Miss Jade? <laughs> bad places that it should not have gone was it a bad experience it wasn't a bad experience but um i it's just very messy um where'd you put it i'm very cleanly so like did you suck it off somebody or did someone do it to you i honestly am usually the aggressor so so your whips and chains you're like sitting with the thigh high boots like you're just you're mean business i'm I, I'm the CEO, yeah, I'm the CEO. What is your favorite body part on yourself? Mm. My stomach, my back, my back. Your back, interesting. Yeah. Where's the most uncomfortable place you've ever had sex? In a car. I was thinking about that today too. I was like, when was the last time I ever had car sex? It's been a long time. I feel it's like that's a very like juvenile kind of thing. It's like, like you don't, you can't do it at home because your parents are there, so you got to leave. Like, yeah, uh, I that that was a long time ago for me. Long time ago. <laughs> yeah, more did it because like it was like more like giving head situational things because it was like trying to be like you know you were horny or like doing things like that because I just wanted it, not because I was trying to be sneaky. But it is the thought of it. I feel like for me, it like takes you back to those nostalgic times where it's like taboo, where it's like yeah, kind of crazy. Where's the craziest place you've ever had sex? Um, are you like an exhibitions type person? Like, are you in a balcony or are you like outside in, a, in like a park or a I've done in like canyon or <laughs> balconies? I've done islands. I've done. Oh, I like islands. I think a boat before, if I'm recalling correctly. Um, you know, just wherever. <laughs> <laughs> Last time you had sex with your ex. Ooh, I don't know what to consider my ex. Why? Because not? explain. A Probably lot of us once. just have entanglements, and um, so like a booty call situation. We have entanglements, and um, <laughs> we don't claim each other. But there's feelings. Not anymore on my side. But So when's the last time you had sex with this um, non-ex <laughs> sex <laughs> sexual being? Of- um, it should have been longer than it was. Do you like watching your partner touch themselves? Yeah. Yeah. So you're like a visual person. Yeah. One last question. What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened during sex? Um, honestly, I don't think that I've had any embarrassing experiences. So far I've had they're all a been pretty great. good run. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing that stands out that was, like, crazy. Maybe not embarrassing. Maybe, like, crazy and you're just, like, uh, and in the moment or you're just always 10-10. Usually it's 10-10. I mean, like, someone maybe, like, almost not catching you, but, like, you know, it's just that, like, oh, you know what was happening, huh? Like, that's not even, you know. Yeah. That's normal. I think that's normal. You need to fuck way more then. You need to be more experiences. I've been in porn for 10 years. So, you know, there's like a lot of things that, you know, that I got to do. My sexual, you know, fantasies got lived out on camera. So it was like, for me, it was kind of a way that I got to express myself and let the world see. And that's why Private Talk loves me so much. I love that for you. Is there anything that you'd like to ask Miss Texas before we leave? Mm. Um... Mm. she's reading me private talk right now she's trying to look at my face just to stare down what's she gonna ask me (sighs) give it to me jade okay um mm. what do you have planned for the rest of the year first i have two questions okay what do i have planned for the rest of the year well private talk with season two we're doing right now currently 
Um, I plan on doing that. I have Truth with Texas. We're going to be doing some fun stuff with that um, itself. And I have an OnlyFans that I shoot for actively that I have a bunch of campaign things. I have a couple lines coming out that we'll know shortly what they will be. But I have a lot of going on. Um, I feel like 2020 was one of those years that everybody had such a bad time, but myself, it wasn't. It just kind of redirected what I needed to do personally and business-wise and just kind of do things that I hadn't uh, paid attention to. Mm -hmm. So um, it's kind of manifested all those things. And so in 2021, it was like, okay, now everything's kind of going back to somewhat of open. So it's time to put them all into action. I love that. Yes. Part two. Part two. Will you come on my podcast? I will come on your podcast. I would love to. Mm. I'm a very spiritual person myself. I'm very into crystals, energies, and good vibes. And I like your vibe. And I appreciate you coming and taking the time to come on Private Talk and get us to know you a little bit better. So, of course, I'd like to come on your show. I love that. I'm so excited. All right, Private Talk. I hope that you've been enjoying this episode. Make sure you like and subscribe. Please let, you, let us know your social medias again so we can support you and what all that you're doing. My socials on all platforms are J A D E. R-A-M-E-Y, Jade Ramey. Uh, that's OnlyFans, Instagram, and YouTube. And my podcast will be found at Free Game PDCST. All right. Thank you so much again. Thank you so much, Private Talk, for tuning in. And then um, till next time. Mm-hmm.